Introducing Homo Naledi. It's been described as the largest fossil find of its kind on the African continent. The fossils, the closest to our lineage ever, have similar characteristics to us. However, their brains are the size of oranges. And when the fossils were unveiled, high-profile politicians and academics were there to catch the first glimpse. Found a fossil. Professor Lee Berger led the discovery, but he didn't do it alone. These are some of the petite people who had to go to confined spaces to extract the fossils. As a scientist, I was touched. I had never seen anything like the generosity of humans. People who would, on a Facebook ad that asked for skinny people, would drop everything and come around the world for no pay to look for fossils. The discovery has major spin-offs for the country. The discovery of a new species of primitive hominin in our own genus reveals much about our own origins and our own ancestors. In time, it will reveal much more about ourselves and will probably tell us about our future as well. This will generate interest from beyond the scientific community. It will inspire poets and writers to revisit Africa's rich oral traditions. It has also put Vets University on the international map once again that what we are announcing today is a discovery that establishes the scientific foundation for a common humanity. And it is that common humanity in which we as a species will survive. It's a discovery that inspired many. Mpumesho Pe studied information systems, but these days is spending more time doing excavations after being bitten by the paleontology bug. I'm very excited and I'm very happy to be part of the group who actually found the fossils. And I would actually wish for anyone to be part of this. The fossils will be on display until the 11th of next month. Their age remains a mystery. Janjicha Uke, SABC News, Maruping, west of Johannesburg.